tell you, Lambeth Green Party. Um, I'll start with a quote from the Kerslake Report, which was commissioned by Lambeth's former chief executive to advise on how to improve the poor delivery of social housing in Lambeth. Kerslake said that the key aim should be greater clarity, transparency and accountability for decision making and delivery. As ever, Lambeth's management have not heeded external advice, and as we have heard, they have caused yet more unnecessary distress and damage to residents. Decisions have been made secretively behind closed doors by a shadowy investment committee whose existence has been denied in a Freedom of Information request. Senior officers, including legal officers, attended these meetings, which we have minutes of. This original decision to force HFL tenants out seems to be made by officers alone, with no oversight or direction from elected councillors. As a result, Lambeth residents have once again suffered. When did the Overview and Scrutiny Committee members become aware of Lambeth's Investment Committee's existence? Not only have families suffered directly from the absence of clarity, transparency and accountability, but once again the Council's finances are taking yet another unnecessary hit. Many of the HFL families have been forced out of their homes through misinformation and the coercive nature of the language used by housing officers and their agents, and now their homes lie empty with no rents being earned on them. Lambeth Council has borrowed £590 million since January 2019. Borrowing from the Public Works Loans Board should be for capital expenditure. So what does Lambeth have to show for this massive investment? We could have retrofitted all council homes in the borough for that. So much money has been wasted and continues to be so. Hundreds of refurbished homes have remained empty on regeneration estates and while they sit empty they are prone to scammers, squatters and thieves who rip out all the metal from them, damaging any refurbishment work completed, including to my own former home in Gypsy Hill. This report to the scrutiny committee gives the committee no information about the impact on the council finances. The original options appraisal by Catherine Eames and Luke Parker November 2023, presented to the Investment Committee, suggested there could be an income of £650,000. Why isn't there a financial breakdown in this report? What income has been received from HFL's private renters? What about the potential revenue from filling the empty homes of secure families? What will it cost to unhouse the HFL families if they refuse to move out and you need to take each one of them to court to evict them? What will the savings be if you do manage to fill the homes of residents in TA and not secure tenants? How can the scrutiny committee scrutinise when it's present, presented with such a vacuum of data? This committee needs to be robust today and ensure that it's truly fit for purpose when scrutinising a rogue council like Lambeth, where clarity, transparency and accountability, accountability continue to be absent.